I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. We will consider an example where we look into division of line segment. This is a very popular question and a difficult question on test papers based on this concept. And I hope its solution will help many of you. The question here is, in the given triangle OAB, C is the midpoint, so that means this divides them into equal ratios. And D divides OA in the ratio of 3 is to 1, so this is 3 and that is 1. Point P is on the intersection of OC and BD, so the, this is point P for us. Find the ratio in which P divides OC and BD, right? So here we need to find the ratio in which P divides both these vectors OC and BD. Let us see how to do it. Now the approach is that we'll define uh, parameters. So we, let's say this ratio B T is to, so then we are taking this as 1 minus T, right? The whole is 1. And on this side, let us take this as S and then this becomes 1 minus S, correct? So the ratio in which P is dividing B D. Now the idea here is to write OP in two different ways involving both the parameters and then we will isolate them and figure them out. So let's first find what is OP from this direction. So we know OP can be written as T, the scalar multiple of OC, right? Now what is OC? To get the value of OC, let us write down uh, vector OA as A vector, this as vector B. Right? So it should be easy. We will write the answer in terms of A and B. So now, what is OC? OC can be written as O to B plus B to C. So we have written vector B plus half of because this is half of B A, right? So it is half of B to A. Now what is B to A? B to A is A minus B. Correct? All right. So we'll just open this. So we get O P as basically equal to T times so if you open this up, you get B plus half A minus half B or T times A plus B by 2, right? So we get A plus B by 2. So I could write this as T over 2A plus T over 2B, right? In terms of vectors A and B. So we got one of our equation. We'll call this as our equation number one. Let me write here. Now, let us try to write OP as a combination of this parameter S. So we could write OP as equal to, so we could say OB plus BP. So we say OB plus BP OB is vector B plus B2P. Now, how do we write B2P? Now, B2P is S times BD. S times BD. What is BD? BD will be OD, right? So, BD will be what? So, B times plus S times. What is BD? So, B to D is... So we want to go B to D. So we'll come back here. So minus B, right? We go in this direction and then there, which is 3 times A. 3 over 4 times A, right? Plus 3 over 4 times A. Does it make sense to you? So what we did here was something like this. We want what is B to D. So we came here. So this is a negative direction, negative B, and then went like this, right? So 3 over 4. 
this is total is four parts three plus one this is three parts of a right so that's how we get our equation now uh, let's simplify this one and isolate a and b just as we did that so we can now write op as s times 3 over 4 a so we can write 3 over 4 s times vector a as far as b is concerned we can take b common 1 minus s right 1 minus s so that is how we can write this vector so we'll call this as our equation number 2 is that clear so what we did was we actually found two different ways of defining op right and in doing so we have involved both t and s the two parameters in which we are really interested in now how do we get their values so we get it by comparing right so coefficients of a and coefficients of b we compare these two coefficients to get our equations and we'll solve them so in equation one the coefficient of a is t by two so we get t by two should be equal to in equation two it is three over four s in for coefficients of b it is t by two for b and here it is one minus s you see that so we get our coefficients right now we can solve this we get t equals to when you multiply 6 over 4 or rather 3 over 2s now here we know what s is uh, in terms of t or either way we could write s here right so or we could eliminate right so what we will do here is basically t is equals to 2 minus 2s so we'll replace this value of t with 2 minus 2 so it was better to use t by 2 itself we could re have written 1 over s right so so we'll just forget about this we have t over 2 as 1 minus s and t over 2 as 3 over 4s that means uh, that means that 1 minus s should be equal to 3 over 4s clear right so from here itself we can actually get our equation right we get this t over 2 is 3 over 4 s and 1 minus so they are equal okay this is better so now we'll cross multiply so we get 4 minus 4 s equals to 3 s taking it on this side we get 4 equals to 7 s or s is equals to 4 over 7 so we get the value of s now from here we can get the value of t so t is 3 over 2 s which is 3 over 2 of 4 over 7 4 over 7 right so s is 4 over 7 so we get here that goes 2 times 6 over 7 is the value of t right so we got both the parameters so you are saying t is basically equals to 6 over 7 and s is equals to 4 over 7 right so so this is cancels two times six over seven and here we get four over seven that's correct so that is how we get our parameter s and t and now we can write down our answer right so we want to know in what ratio p divides oc and bd so as far as oc is concerned we can write the ratio op is to pc is what since t is 6 over 7 that means total divisions are 7 so it is 6 is to 1 you get the idea 6 over 7 so total is this is 1 out of 7 this is 6 out of 7 as far as bd is concerned the ratio of bp to pd is what s is 4 over 7 so 4 here 3 there 4 is to 3 so that becomes our solution is that clear to you so that is how we are going to solve such questions now let me give you as a test question one of these types which you can try right so let's say you can 
you can use this question as your practice question now perfect so try to solve this question on your own and uh, post your answers in the comments i'll provide you the solution of this question later i hope you understand and appreciate how we have solved these questions feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best